The things you'll need is beads of your choice, jewelry pliers, a necklace clasp, eye pins, jump rings, and a chain if you're making this into a partial beaded necklace. The first thing you want to do is assemble your beads. This part is going to take a little bit of practice, but it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it. You want to put your eye pin into your bead and then bend the remaining bit over the side. Then you want to trim the excess where you'll have at least a quarter of an inch of the eye pin left. Take your jewelry pliers and then slowly roll the wire to create another connector for your bead. Repeat this step for all the beads you have chosen and it'll be easier planning a necklace if you have a necklace bead board, but you really don't need to have one. Um, you can find the bead boards at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or really any craft store that you have in your area. Next, you'll want to take your chain and measure out how much you'll need to make your necklace the length you want. I'm making, I always make my necklaces around 22 inches just to be a safe length. Then you'll want to take your jump rings and begin connecting all of your beads together that you made before to make one continuous chain. Take those same jump rings and connect your chain pieces and your clasp and you're finished. Here I'm connecting a jewelry tag that I made myself using shrink plastic. You can click on the screen now or for phone users I have a link in the down box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my previous video and I'll check y'all next time.